Right, uh, in this video we are going to be doing sales invoice. We are going to be dealing with sales. Uh, so we can go to home and then I go to sales. So that one I can just click on dismiss. Uh, and then let me start with quotations. Let's say someone requests for a quotation. I can click on, uh, sorry, I did click the sales order. Let me go back. Uh, I want to go back there right quotation so we want to start with quotation a client request a quotation so you can click on create your first quotation there then customer we need to enter the name of the customer so let's say the name of the customer is meso meso ltd and then i click on create customer the customer is not in the system the customer is it an individual is it a company so it's a company customer group you can select whether it's government it's an individual so let me say uh, it's a commercial group. They say it's a commercial territory. I can select so territory. You can put a territories as cities, provinces, or countries. But in this case, I'm going to maintain territories as countries. Then I also click on primary. I put the name of the meso.com mobile number. You can also put the the name of the, the mobile number, primary address, I can also put the primary address, city, put your city there, state, Arare country, let me put Zimbabwe there, uh, address line 2, I can just write Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, and then I can click on save. Then I can also click on edit in full if you want to add more information. But let's just stick uh, to nice and simple. But let me just click on add full invoice. So you can see if I add in full invoice, there are more information that you can put. There's also currents if you want to maintain certain currents for your client. But if you don't put currents, the system can also do everything for you. You can also put industry, whether the person, the client you are selling to is in which, is in which industry. Oh, we also have what internal customers. Internal customers, these are like common representatives. Uh, maybe we have got some distributors, so that's where you can use that one. I uh, also have got contact address, company, sales team. We can also set a sales rep who is dealing with this client. We also have got some settings uh, where we can do those things. So after that, I can click on save. So after I click on save. It comes back here, uh, showing the customer name there. If we have got price list by currents, we can also set it. Let me just remove that. We are not going to deal with it for now. So I go on items. I'm going to build uh, red powder two, and then price. I'm going to build them at ten dollars each. I click on add draw to add another one. Uh, metallic paints. I'm going to build five and then I'm going to put here at fifteen dollars. So you see this red line, uh, click on save and then click on submit. Right, uh, so it is submitted. If you want to print, you can print it. Uh, we can also customize it so that it can appear nicer and how we want it to appear. If you want to email it, you can also email it. Let me go back there. If you want to email it, you can click there. Then you can select email and automatically the email is sent. If you want to send an SMS, an SMS can also be sent from there. Uh, so that's it for doing quotations in the system. Uh, so let's move forward. So I'm home. I go back to home there. Uh, I go to selling. So under selling, uh, we want to create an invoice. So I'm not going to go the route for sales order. I'm going to move from quotation and sales invoice. So I click on sales invoice there. Uh, so I click on add sales invoice. And then I select the customer. So the customer comes back, now wants to buy. We have previously quoted the customer. I select the customer. Now no need to raise the invoice again. I just need to get the items from the quotation. So I select my quotation there. I click on get items automatically the items are populated here 
and then I click on save. Uh, if the pay if the client is paying me, uh, I can click on include payment. It pause. I select the the post profile. But let me go the option where the client is not paying there and there. So you just click on save, it. and then you click on submit, and then click yes there. So automatically our sales invoice is done. You can click on print sales invoice. So this is our sales invoice. So currently it's showing that it's uh, unpaid. Let me remove some of the settings there so that we can see clearly. Right. So we can see, you can now see clearly. So you can see this one is unpaid, this one is overdue. So I can go back to home. So basically, this is all about sales. Let me just refresh. So basically, this is all about sales. Uh, we'll do more about sales as we go on.